bring this a little bit around. Oh, is that your? Anyway, hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Finally, taking a look at a beer that was sent to me by Average Joe. Hey, Joe. We got the Heist Almighty. We got the Fuzz. We got the Sith here at Fuzz's Round Table for the first time in nearly two years. We're going to take a look at a beer that I've had for nearly three years. Actually, I think it's over three years now. And I think it's like four years old. This is a 2012 bottle of Founders. Backwoods Bastard, a barley wine, <laughs> ale aged. I think it's I think it's an American strong ale or a barley wine. Uh, ale aged in oak bourbon barrels. Pretty big. How big? How how strong is this thing? Ten point two percent ABV. Fifty IBUs. I doubt it's fifty IBU anymore. Malt liquor. But malt liquor. I'm pretty sure it's like more strong. Them when I collect them. Anyway. Bad, 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 yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> Founders Backwoods Bastard, courtesy of Average Joe. Finally open after all this time. Weird. I'll give. Did, you didn't even rinse your glass yeah, in. Yeah, I did. Here, here. Why does it got foam in the bottom? A water foam? Fuck it's, off. It's St. John water, man. St. John water has got foam, yeah. Actually, um, for me is the uh, lost girl thing. That. <laughs> yeah, that's your <laughs> So what did you say? Is it a 2012 one? Yeah, I think so. Oh, good. I'll check it in under its vintage. It's technically, apparently, a Scotch Ale or a Wee Heavy. And the rest is yours. Okay. Wank. Ah, so a wee, is it a Wee Heavy or an Old Ale? Kinda. It says Wee Heavy. Or well, it's definitely an Old Ale now. It's like four years old. A little bit. Holy smokes, look at the dregs. Yeah, well, very, very cloudy. Like really oh, full of shite. It's that old and I still got some head. Not, yeah, you got a little head. I, I didn't, didn't go flat. I didn't get a lot of head, but you guys know that. Um, Ooh. Wow, look at that. That's really, uh, really uh, ruby. coffee color. Ruby <clears throat> red. Yeah, you guys have weird conversations. Oh, top of the nose really, really <laughs> burns. No, I say it was 10. A little bit of funk on that. Yeah, that's, that's a funk. Yeah, 10.2. That's a funk. Probably stronger now. It's funny. Uh, that's got a big funk on it. It's yeah. got a, it's not like a, like a vowel uh, funk, but it's kind of got yeah. this weird, we weird, yeah. Caramel. Huge yeah. caramel. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be huge. Huge. Gonna be huge. 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 The best. Huge. Huge. It's really I'm gonna build a wall around it, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, I always Jesus Christ! Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure I can start. Oh, wow, that's really strong. Yeah. That's like yeah. caramel. That's big barley wine. Right? Is it weird? Yeah. Sometimes barley I'll wine. think of like something I want to ask Jen, and then she sends me the answer. Oh. <laughs> mm. Wait, no. What? Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh. I like it. I don't hate it, but uh, it wasn't as good as I was expecting. Yeah. Ooh, getting a little, it's it's very much like a this kind of old ale kind of barley wine kind of taste, but it's very mellow and smooth. Yeah. It does have this burn coming up through the back. It has a nice, like, mellow, buttery kind of bourbon vanilla kind of taste. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah, got all that. And, yeah, a little, vanilla. and a little bit of this earthiness coming up through the back. It's clean. Yeah, they're actually quite clean. Toffee. It's it's thinner than I was Toffee. expecting. Okay. It's definitely yeah. thinner than I was yeah. expecting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. I it thought it would thinner. be a little. I, I thought it'd be a nice thick. It is very it is very bourbony though. A little mm -hmm. faded coffee to it as well. Very bourbony. Mm. It is very very bourbony. It is like light bourbon. Mm. But it's it's that's actually smooth there quite a bit. It is surprisingly smooth. Is there a bottle on date down here? Was there a drink buy date on it? No, <laughs> doubt it. I don't know. I've had this since I was in the old apartment. Your old apartment. <laughs> the old yellow stove. Oh, that's probably gone now. <laughs> oh, probably. They probably burned they that probably, place they down. Probably, no, it's still there. Have you, have you been there? Shut up. <laughs> you know what happened there. Fumig fumigation would probably be funny. <laughs> the yellow stove's probably gone. Who would yeah. want to use that thing anymore? No. I don't know. Fetch it worked. I mean, that yellow still worked up. We're talking about the yellow stove. We're talking about right. the beer. Okay, so the beer. I like it quite good. It's uh, light burger. Yeah. yeah, I do not like it. Um, four. Uh, three seven five. Uh, one seven five. Wow. And you? Three. Three? Okay. And what do you? Why? Why do you not like it? Doesn't why taste like. Why do you like not like beer? Doesn't taste like it. It doesn't taste. It doesn't taste good. Tastes like. You don't taste good. No, hold on. It tastes like a 
a cheap wine. Ooh. Ooh. Not even cheap bourbon. Fortified Not wine. Not even cheap bourbon. Ooh. Like a cheap, uh, tastes like uh, a five dollar large bottle of wine that you find in a gas station. Oh, I'm tasting. What if we drink it straight from the back? Is this? I'm not sure if that makes any better, but. I don't know. I think it tastes no. like watered down bourbon. Myself. Yeah, no. Mm. Which no. is still pretty good because I kind of like bourbon. Rude. 175. Anyway. Nah, no, I'm sticking to you. No, but it was no you already gave it. He's well, he gave his rating, but I mean, I'm looking for an explanation. He's Jody, a really nice guy. He's, it it, it kind of reminds me of Thor's Hammer, actually. It's a tip, to me, it tastes a lot like your average barley, barley wine. Mm. Mm. With bourbon, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I suppose it really depends whether you like barley wine. How do you feel about I, I, watered down bourbon? I don't like bourbon in the first I place. Well, it's like barrel aged barley wine, and in that respect, it hasn't changed much except for over the four years, except for it's mellowed out a little. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might have liked to get it this... fresh, but maybe I should have drank it four, three years ago. Yeah, I don't know. I almost <laughs> feel like maybe fresh and more aggressive might be a better way to go with this. I would say, mm. like I said, like I asked, is there a drink by? No, not really, because no. it won't go bad with that kind of strength. No, no. No, but I mean, I mean, I'm surprised that it's a ten two. You say you say ten two, right? I cannot. 10 2. Yeah, 10 2. I'm surprised it's a 10 2. It doesn't taste like a 10 2. No. But it's, it's a just, little warming coming up. Yeah, it just it tastes like it does. Yeah, it tastes like wine. Surprisingly thin for that. It's a little thin. Anyway, that's what we thought about Back with Bastard. Back, back with back Bastard. Back with Bastard. Um, some yeah. liked it, others not so much. Not so much. So, uh, well, anyway, thanks for tuning in to Baxter Stars Beer Review. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, thank you, Joe, for letting us in. Cheers. Cheers, guys. And thank you, Joe. Oh, baby, you're a bastard. Dusty Joe likes his beer review, doesn't he? I something we're doing, and I recorded us for a minute. Ah, it was just Max Buster is a bastard.